Good morning. Today we're at Resolve and Village in Neath Port Talbot Wells. Our amazing friend Katie has brought us to one of the area's best kept open secrets, a fairy trail. Wales is a mystical land filled with tales of mythical lands and places filled with creatures great and small. Stories of alternate worlds intermingled with our own, of portals, strange doors that can only be entered at certain times of year during certain times of special days and unique places. You know, these stories, they've come down to us through the years and they've been adopted in children's stories, what we call fairy tales but they're still powerful reminders of the beliefs of ancient people that can be found in cultures, not just in Wales, but all over the world. And today, we're on the fairy trail, fitted with fairy doors amongst the trees to delight children and parent alike. It's beautiful, it's magical, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And when I see doors and trees, being who I am, who is a child of God, a son, I tend to think of the family business, meaning I think of verses such as, I am the vine and you are the branches, and open up ancient gates, open up you ancient doors and let the king of glory enter, or even I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. And I smile because I know how much my Father loves me. I smile because I know how much He loves you. And I'm thankful that I get to represent and represent the Father as a son and an ambassador of the kingdom of heaven. And I get to represent and represent Jesus to a world that needs Him, a world that He loves and came in physical form to redeem. But I want to draw a distinction here because I'm beginning to hear a lot of talk in some Jesus-loving circles, and I, I think it's some talk that needs to be addressed and, and maybe just course-corrected just a little bit. And this is what I mean. I'm not God, and neither are you. Yes, we are united with Christ. We even have the mind of Christ, but that doesn't make me or you the Christ. It's Christ in me and you the hope of glory, not me or you in Christ the hope of glory. <laughs> he is the vine. I am the branch. I'm not the vine. And if you actually read that verse in context, it says, I am the true grapevine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit. And he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they'll produce even more. Hmm, quite a little bit to think about there. So that means you can be a branch, and if you aren't producing healthy fruit, well, zoinks. And then Jesus goes on to say, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Double ouch. Apart from Christ, I and you can do nothing in the kingdom of God. That's just the truth. It's about Him. It's not about me or you. And yes, when you're all about Jesus, He's all about you. He's all about you all the time, but the kingdom is bigger than you or me. I hear some folks out there saying that we're equal with God since we are united with God. Yeah, I'm hearing it. And you've probably heard it too, just crouched in subtle forms like this. Let's see. Everything Christ is, was, we are now. Have you heard that one? I was co-created with Christ at the beginning of the world. As he is, so am I. Have you heard that one? Or, I don't have to pray to God because I have his mind. My thoughts are his thoughts. How about that one? You know, let me just go ahead tell it to you straight. Those are fairy tales. <laughs> These are ancient, not so good thoughts, slight twistings of the gospel message that can lead to some very wrong pathways and doors full of pride and broken life decisions that can leave a disaster zone in their wake. So let's step back for a second and course correct. I and you are children of God, 
Absolutely, yes. We, we get to represent the king. But just because I have my father's DNA, it doesn't make me my father. Just, yeah. just because a brother shares another brother's DNA, it doesn't make one brother the same as the other. Even as my, my son shares my DNA, he's not me. And even at twins, they have differences at the DNA level. You see, he's the root. He's the vine. And yes, I am a branch which offers leaves and growth and fruit and, and all that goodness, but I'm not the vine. We are united, yes, but we are not the root. He is. So yes, I am a son, but I'm not my father. Yes, I am a brother, but I'm not the brother of all brothers. I am me, and you are you. And who you are is awesome. And you have so much amazing potential. But we aren't the God. The disciples and apostles, they never bragged that they were God. When Peter healed the cripple at Gate Beautiful, he didn't say, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Peter the fisherman, get up and walk. I didn't say that. He said, no, in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. You know, the apostles always shared the need for Jesus, not that we were Jesus. They shared the desire of turning to Jesus and renewing our minds into who we actually are, children of God, and bearing his mark. But they never said, we are God. The apostles shared the name of Jesus, the faith, the beauty of salvation and, and of being in him, the need of the Holy Spirit in our lives. It's about him and what he makes possible. And yes, even makes possible through us. As all creation is waiting eagerly for that day when God will reveal who his children really are. But that doesn't make me equal with God. Yes, I and you, we were co-crucified with Christ, but it is Christ that makes the power of the new covenant possible. If I or you never existed, the world would go on. If Jesus never existed, there would be no world. <laughs> <laughs> he was the word upon the Father's lips at, the, at creation that moved all creation into being. All things are from him and return to him. Him, not me and not you. Let me, let me put it like this. My hand, my hand, it's in union with me. It's a part of me. But is my hand me? If I cut off my hand, am I still me? Yeah, sure. I mean, I might not be able to type as fast, or I might not be able to hold my phone while I ramble into it, but I'm still me. But my hand that's now cut off, is it me? No, it, it, it's now withering, it's dead, it's lifeless. It's not connected to the body, which is connected to the head. Union is being with God, but it doesn't make me equal with God. If he's an endless ocean and a bottomless sea, I mean, I'm a 20 ounce plastic bottle somewhere just bobbing along. <laughs> he fills me to overflowing, which means he must have a lot more than me to fill me up with. Yes, we're new creations, but we're not the original. My son is my creation, but he's not me. As children of God, we're full of glory and divine energy. Yes, we are ancient gates. We are heavenly doors which release the power of the King of glory into the world by being in Him. But we're not the source. We're not separate from God. We're in union with Him. We represent Him, but we aren't Him. Yes, we have His fullness in us, but that's because He fills us to hope overflowing. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the door which makes union with the Father possible, not me. Apart from Jesus, I, you, can do nothing in the kingdom. As he is, so are we in this world. Yes, absolutely true. But the full verse in context is this. Love has been perfected among us in this that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. 
because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, they, he, are the source. They are the ones wrapped in what Gregory of Nazianzus called perichoresis, the eternal dance of which they have chosen us to be placed within. Believing that we're equal with God, it's a fairy tale. And like our fairy tales of today, which are actually rooted in ancient beliefs and customs of a people long gone. The belief that we can be and are equal with God actually comes from someone who sought to make himself equal with God a long time ago. Check your heart, check your spirit, and check your spirit's DNA. That's all I have to say about that. We love because He first loved us. He is the first and the last. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you're amazing. You're loved. You're a son or a daughter of the King. Go. Be who you are. A child of God. The world needs what you have. Be blessed.